Steel and the European Union Emissions Trading System. Where next? Steel's benefits can be seen all around us in stronger, lighter weight motor vehicles, in renewable energy applications, and in helping to create a more efficient society. The European steel industry supports 330,000 jobs and is the most advanced in the world. By 2030, advanced steels could help mitigate as much as 443 million tonnes of CO2 emissions per year. The EU is now working on reforming the emissions trading system. The ETS is the most ambitious scheme of its kind in the world, so this reform will significantly impact the European steel industry. The ETS has to protect climate, industrial competitiveness and jobs. However, the current proposal would cost the European steel industry around 34 billion euros between 2021 and 2030. The system must not lead to carbon leakage, causing the EU to import steel and to export jobs and emissions. To the contrary, ETS should enable European industries to be competitive and innovative in CO2 reduction. For the steel industry, which is at very high risk of carbon leakage, there should be no additional direct or indirect costs at the level of the best performers. This will ensure that Europe's steel producers can compete globally. With a well-reformed ETS, the European steel industry will be able to continue to produce the high-quality steel that we need in Europe.